بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي ونسلم على رسوله الكريم ما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله we we've come into the the last ten nights of this special month of Ramadan and like we mentioned as well already that there's one 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 very special night which we will need to look out for إن شاء الله تعالى so this night is known as and it's called Laylatul Qadr, the night of power, say the night of of decree. And we we mentioned the origin of of how this this night came out came out about that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he was pondering and he was looking into the the long lives which uh, the previous ummats which the previous nations had, and upon this our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, he would he would be greatly saddened because. If his ummah, meaning us, if we were to compete with the previous ummahs in regards to a'mal, in regards to good deeds and good actions, then obviously we'd need a long lifespan in order to do that. So the previous nations, they had long, long lifespans, and in those long, long lifespans, they they had many, many, many a'mal. Whereas on the other hand, the, the ummah of our Prophet wasallam, the lifespans were short. Hence, the the ibadah and the amal will also be be less. So, in comparison, those who had longer lives, they have more to present and more to to show to Allah Taala on the day of judgment. And those who had a shorter life, then they, they'd have less. So, comparison wise, it, it looked like the ummah of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, our ummah, it it was on it was on a downfall, it was on a shortfall. However, uh, due to this, <coughs> Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. He he revealed this special night through his infinite mercy, uh, and it meant that if any fortunate person was to was to find this night during his lifetime, then inshallah ta'ala, uh, and if they were to worship Allah ta'ala in this night, then inshallah ta'ala, it's like they've worshipped Allah ta'ala for for a thousand months. Like we mentioned, a thousand months is equivalent to about uh, eighty three years. Subhanallah. So hey, this is this is one incident. There's also another incident where another report mentions that a Prophet وسلم, he was once he was talking to and he was relating the story to the Sahaba عنهم, and our Prophet وسلم, he was talking about a very righteous man. And this righteous man he was from Bani Israel, meaning from amongst the Jews. And this person he who was from amongst the Jews, who was this righteous man, he he spent one thousand months. He spent 1,000 months in jihad. He spent 1,000 months fighting in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Obviously, jihad is the, one of the most uh, you know, rewarding acts which a person person could do. Fighting and giving one one's life for, for the cause and for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, Khayr, upon hearing this, the Sahaba, they were, they envied or they felt, you know, like, ah, oh, a bit, you know, like, disappointed or gutted, you can say, that, you know, a thousand, a thousand uh, months, you know, we'll, they'll never, we'll never be able to do that. So, Khair, <coughs> upon this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted this night of power. Allah ta'ala granted Laylat al-Qadr. So, Khair, there, there are also other reports as well. There are also other narrations uh, explaining the origin of how this Laylat al-Qadr, of how this night, night of power, night of decree, it came about. But no matter uh, which one of these we accept, you know, the, the most important fact is the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed us with this night. And this is a, a great favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I know how fortunate... Uh, of, you know, can a person be if they, you know, if they make the most out of this night? So, Khair, we just quickly have a a brief overview of of Surah Surah Qadr, of Surah Tulayt Al Qadr. Inshallah, Taala. A'udhu billahi min al Shaytan al Rajim. Bismillahi r-Rahman r-Rahim. Inna anzalnahu fi naynat al Qadr. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says, and he mentions that, indeed, inna, indeed, we have revealed this message, meaning we have revealed the Qur'an, 
the Quran Majid, fi Layl al Qadr, in the night of power, in the night of Qadr. So reference here is made to the fact that on this specific night, the Quran Majid, the Quran Sharif, it was sent down. F- and knowing that the the Quran, the Quran Sharif was revealed on this night, meaning it, it, the revelation began on such a night, that that would have been sufficient to to make this night special, and that would have been sufficient to ensure the greatness of this night. But besides that, this night is also noted for for many other things. So in the in the next in the next ayah, Allah Taala is you can say increasing our interest regarding what's under discussion. So a question is asked: وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا لَيْلَةُ الْقَدْرِ And what will explain to you what Laylatul Qadr is? What will explain to you what this night of power is? So in other words, the question asked here is, do you have any knowledge uh, in regards to the greatness and the importance of this night? Do you have any idea regarding this night? Do you have any knowledge in regards to the great favours and bounties that go with it? Do you have any idea of how blessed this night is? So now the next ayah, the next verse, it continues and explains and it gives us clarity in regards to the greatness and in regards to the the blessedness of this night. Laylatul Qadri Khairum Min Al Fishahr that the night of power Laylatul Qadr this is better than a thousand months. So the true meaning here is that the reward for spending this night in worship, the reward for spending this night in, in the ibadah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is better and more than having spent 1,000 months worshipping Allah ta'ala. Then Allah ta'ala continues and mentions in the next ayah, تَنَزَّلٌ مَلَائِكَةُ وَالرُّوحُ فِيهَا بِإِذْنِ رَبِّهِمْ so on this night, angels come down and the spirit also comes down. So ruh, we'll get into, we we'll go into this meaning inshallah ta'ala. So angels come down on this night and the ruh also comes down on this night through the permission of, of the Lord, through the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So regarding this, this verse, regarding this part, it's explained that there's uh, there's one Imam Imam Razi, rahmatullah he is he's very famous and he's uh, he's well known amongst uh, he's known to be a, a giant scholar a very giant scholar. So he he explains that when when man first appeared on earth, then the the angels they they had a they had some concern regarding humans. And they even went to the extent that they asked Allah Ta'ala that تَجْعَلُوا فِيهَا مَا يُفْسِدُوا فِيهَا وَيَثْبِكُوا الدِّمَاءِ That are you going to place someone on this earth who will, uh, you know, who would cause corruption, who's, who's going to cause a riot, and and someone who's going to shed blood. So in other words, you know, this human here, this human is, you know, this humans are, Humans a troublemaker, you know. He's uh, <laughs> he's not really of of much good. So Khair. So there's this example which he which Imam Razi he gives that you know when parents if they if, well if parents were to look at their their child. And they and they went and they were to look at their child in its original form. What's the original form of a child? It's a drop of sperm. <laughs> then that drop of sperm was, you know, once closed or something. Then how they be towards it? Of course, it's something to dislike, uh, and it's like you know, it's, it's making one's clothes dirty. It's impure. It's pollution. You can say. So it's something which has to be washed away. But now what happens is, you know, this, this drop of sperm, 
later on Allah Ta'ala he made that same sperm into a child Allah Ta'ala made that sperm into a child and now after that what do parents do they be they begin to cherish and, and love this this child so in regards to the angels when they first saw humans or Adam and Salam then they they had this dislike that you know hold on this this guy is a <laughs> he's no good or you know he's going to cause trouble or you know what is this but now on the night of power now in, in Layl Qadr you find this that same man who's who's worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we find that those very angels those very the those malaika that they are now descending towards him and obviously you can say that they they repent him for the ill thoughts that they they once harbored against him so khair in this verse is also mentioned what ruh so khair so ruh means spirit uh, and it's in reference to jibril alayhi salatu salam where it's mentioned that um, he descends to the earth during this night now that's one that's one meaning there's other other ways of looking at it, at it, at it as well but the but the vast majority of scholars they and commentators mufassirins they agree that jibril alayhi salam is meant here is meant as ruh tanazzalul malaikatu wa ruh so now Obviously Allah Ta'ala says تَدَزَّلُنَ مَلَائِكَةُ وَالرُّوحُ فِي هَذَا Ruh, the word Ruh has been brought separately. So the explanation of that is that first of all Allah Ta'ala makes mention of Malaika, of, of angels first. And then because of Jibreel alayhi salatu salam. Why? Because of his special, his special status amongst them. Hence for that reason a separate mention is made of him. So khair, that's one view that the word Ruh is referring to Jibreel alayhi salatu salam. So khair, another meaning another meaning is that the spirit ruh refers to one group of angels who who don't ordinarily they don't usually appear and they only appear on this night hence and they're also there they are such that on this night they are seen by the other malaika they are seen by the other angels another interpretation is that ruh refers to uh, it refers to Allah Ta'ala's special mercy which comes in the wake of of these angels descending so okay, there's there's other interpretations as well but we'll just leave it to those and but the the first opinion that we mentioned that Ruh refers to Jibreel Ali Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam this is generally given preference to why because generally this is supported by a hadith where Anas Rayyutad Anhu uh, mentions that our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam uh, has said that on the on Laylatul Qadr, Jibreel uh, Alayhi Salatu Salam, he he comes down with a group of angels and prays for for mercy for everyone who he finds busy in worshiping Allah Taala. <laughs> so we'll just continue with the verse. For the next verse, Salam Ya Hatta Matuna Al Fajr. So now Allah Ta'ala says that on this night, peace, salam, it, it's until the rising of dawn, meaning salam, it keeps on raining, it keeps on falling, it keeps on showering in abundance on this special night of Laylatul Qadr until the break of dawn, until the, the time of Fajr begins. So khair. Laylatul Qadr, like we already mentioned, it's khayrun min alfi shahr. This is it's much better than a thousand months. And now a question might arise that, okay, okay, when do we, when should we start looking for it? So there's many ahadith and many narrations that it's not, some say, you know, last ten nights. Some say it's within, it's one night within the entire month of Ramadan, so it's not restricted to the last ten nights. It's not even restricted to, um, you know, the month of Ramadan. According to some narrations, it's one night in the entire year. <laughs> but khair, the the preferred the preferred view is that it's 
is a night in the month of Ramadan. And in a hadith, uh, our Prophet Sallallahu has said that search for Laylatul Qadr in the odd nights of the last 10 days of Ramadan, meaning there's probably a lot more chance that you find it in the odd nights. So that means 21st, 23rd, 25th, 27th and 29th. Also another, in another hadith, Aisha Raitana Anha asked that, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, if I realize it's Laylatul Qadr, then what dua should I make? What should I say when it's Laylatul Qadr? So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam replied by saying that you should read, you should recite this dua, Allahumma innaka afoon, tuhibbul afa, fa'afu anni, that oh Allah Ta'ala, you are the, you are the most forgiving, innaka afoon, tuhibbul afa, and you love forgiveness, meaning you are the most forgiving and you love to forgive people. Fa'afu anni, so forgive me, so pardon me. Also in another hadith, our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has mentioned that Man qama laylat al-qadri Man qama laylat al-qadri imanan wa ihtisaban Uqfira lahu ma taqaddam min dhambih That whoever prays uh, Whoever prays salah, establishes salah At the night of qadr, at the night of power In laylat al-qadr And a person does this with, sin, with complete faith, with sincere faith and with sincere hope of acquiring reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then such a person's past sins will be forgiven. SubhanAllah. So may Allah ta'ala give us a tawfiq to inshallah ta'ala exert ourselves in these final few nights of this blessed month of Ramadan, inshallah ta'ala. And may Allah ta'ala give us a tawfiq to inshallah ta'ala find Laylatul Qadr and to, to reap the benefits and to reap the rewards of this blessed, blessed night, inshallah ta'ala. Subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaik